In MPLABX, the debug and build tools and the target device are all chosen on a per-project basis. So whenever you want to change the device, a tool, or a tool's options, you will make your selections through the project properties. There are several ways you can open the project properties window. One is to right-click on the top node of your project, the little chip icon, and select properties from the bottom of the world's longest pop-up menu. The other method is to go to the file menu and select project properties with the project name you want to work on in parentheses. And the final method is to click on the little wrench and bolt icon in the project dashboard. From the project properties window, you can change the device, you can change the hardware tool, and when you click apply, for example, I'll select, switch to the simulator, you'll notice over on the left hand side that it'll change to simulator, and from there I can click on it and change all the various options for that particular tool. I can also change the C compiler that I'm using, or the assembler as the case may be, click apply, and then from there I can click on the left hand side and choose all of the appropriate compiler settings for the project. Once you're done making all of these selections, simply click on OK, and that's all there is to it. MPLABX's Project Properties window provides a one-stop shop for all options that affect your project and its associated tools. For MPLABX TV, I'm Rob Ostopic.